Primer, like always this one is from pixie this is the flawless and poreless primer and to apply that I'm gonna be using my fingers you guys have seen me use this primer many times in my videos before and the foundation I'm using is from Revlon this is the color stay foundation in the shade golden beige and this is my all-time favorite drugstore product I used to use this all the time in high school and I know a lot of people compare this to Mac studio fix fluid and I used to compare it to that too but now to me, it's exactly like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So I highly, highly recommend this foundation. And this is the only foundation that will stay matte on my face throughout the whole day. And to apply this, I'm using this beauty sponge from Real Techniques. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to be using this little brow kit from Salon Perfect. And I'm going to be using this taupe shade and mix it in with this cool brown shade. And just use any angled brush to fill them in. And I'm going to cheat here a little bit, guys. I'm going to be using a primer from MAC this is not a drugstore primer and that's because I have not found a drugstore primer that I like and by primer I mean eye primer so if you know of any good ones please leave it down below and I will check it out the first thing I'm going to do is grab a black eyeliner the one I'm using is from Jordana Cosmetics but you can use any black eyeliner and I'm just going to line my eyes in my waterline and it does not have to be perfect because we are going to smudge this later on the brush I'm using to smudge the liner is from Morphe. This is the G19 brush and I can't really explain this brush. This is kind of like a pencil brush but it's not as stiff or dense. This is more loose, I guess. After I smudge the liner, I'm going to apply this jumbo pencil from NYX. This one is called Sparkle Green and this is going to be my base before I apply the green shadows. You can even skip the primer that I used earlier and just go ahead and start with this one. And now I'm going to take a small blending brush with no product on it. This one is from Morphe. This is the M139 brush and I'm going to blend out any harsh lines that I have. The first eyeshadow I'm going to use is called Emerald and this one is from Milani Cosmetics. And I noticed these apply better when you use your fingers so I'm just going to do that. And now I'm going to go back to the brow kit that I used earlier and I'm going to use that brown shade and apply it on my crease with a tapered brush from Sigma. This is the E40 brush. And now I'm going to apply that green jumbo pencil under my lower lash line and then I'm going to blend it out with a pencil brush from Sigma. It's going to be the E30 pencil brush. Now I'm going to go back with the black eyeliner and go over it because the green kind of covered whatever we had going on. And then I'm going to apply some mascara in false lashes. The mascara I'm using is from L'Oreal. This is the Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. And then I'm going to apply some lashes. The ones I'm using are from Salon Perfect. These are the 105 and you can pretty much find these in any drugstore. Okay, so while we wait for the glue on the lashes to dry, I'm going to be applying my concealer. This one is from Maybelline. This is the Superstay 24-hour concealer. And this one is in the shade Ivory. And to blend that, I'm using the same beauty sponge that I used earlier for my foundation. Now I'm going to set my foundation with a pressed powder from Maybelline. Um, this is the Fit Me powder in the shade 220 and to apply that I'm using a big powder brush from Sigma. This is the F30 brush. To set my concealer I'm using this light powder from Rimmel and this one is in the shade Translucent and to apply that I'm using a Morphe brush. This one is the G5 brush. To contour my face, I'm actually going to be using a bronzer, also from Rimmel, and this one is in the shade Sundance, and to apply that, I'm using a big angled brush from Coastal Scents.
The blush I'm using is from Milani and this one's called Fantastical Mauve and I'm going to be applying that with the same angled brush and you have to apply a little bit of this because it's so pigmented and a lot of product will get on your brush. To highlight my cheeks, I'm actually going to be using a eyeshadow from Milani and this one is in the shade Chiffon and as you guys can see, it's giving me a glow. I am a big fan of using eyeshadows on my face. For example, sometimes I will use a brown eyeshadow at, to contour my face or I will use a light matte eyeshadow to set my concealer. Now I'm going to take this shade called Khaki and apply that on the inner corners. I was actually going to use gold but I don't know, I just decided this light olive green would look better. I know you guys are probably thinking how much eyeliner are you going to put but I wasn't going to put any but my lash band was showing so I just decided to cover it and I used a gel liner to do that and the gel liner is from Maybelline. Now I'm going to line my lips with this lip liner from Jordana Cosmetics and this one is in the shade Mauve. And the lipstick I'm using is from Wet n Wild and this one is in the shade Mocha Licious. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this emerald makeup look. And like always, I will list everything down below so you can check that out. And I also have another green makeup look that I did last year for Christmas. So if you guys want to check that out, I will leave the link down below. You can just click on it and it will take you directly to the video. And I think that's all I have to say. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!